hi and welcome back to just another stitch for those that don't know me my name is Connie and if you're new to my channel I'd like to welcome you today I'm going to show you how to do the waistcoat de-stitch a uh, decrease stitch and it's almost identical to the single crochet stitch um and also the waistcoat stitch is also referred to as the the crochet knit stitch the knit stitch and crochet and the sample I'm showing you I'm doing this in the round and when you're doing the waistcoat stitch in the round you want to look for the V's where typically right here is where you go in for your single crochet stitch right underneath this right underneath the stitch but the, with the waistcoat stitch, you're going to go over just a little to the left and you look for that V-shape and you're going to place it right there in between the legs of the V. Okay, and on the back side, it's going to look like an upside down V. And it'll be going in right there. Okay. And if you're doing the waistcoat stitch flat, then the, the V's will be upside down. So if you're doing it in the round or flat, it does make a difference. But I find that from my experience, usually most patterns with the waistcoat stitch tend to be for hats. So I'm going to show you all how to do this in the round. And at a later time, I probably will do a tutorial on doing it flat, too. But, okay, I'm sticking my hook in, okay? And like I said, that's where you normally stick your hook. You're just going over a little over, and you see that V right there. This is where you're sticking your hook. Okay? You yarn over and you go through your base stitch. Okay? Then you look for your next stitch. Next V for the next stitch. Okay? So you see that's where you would normally go in for single crochet. You go just a little over. Right here. And this is where you're sticking your hook. And like I said, this is pretty much this almost identical to single crochet. You yarn over, you pull through your base stitch, you yarn over, and you go through all three. Okay? And that's your first decrease. Okay, so now you want to look for your next V. Okay? I said, this is where you would do for a single crochet right over to the left. You see that V? This is where you're sticking your hook. And I'm trying to make sure that y'all can see really well where the hook goes. Because it's very important with this stitch. Okay, so you yarn over. Go through your base stitch. Okay. You, your, you, you look for your next V, which is right here. This is where you're going through, right here. Oops. Okay, right here. Okay. You, you yarn over, go through that base stitch, yarn over, and go through all three stitches. I'm going to do this two more times to make sure that y'all have it, okay? Okay, you look for that next V, okay, which is right here. This is where you're going. Okay, you yarn over, go through the base stitch. Oops, okay. I was about to finish off the single crochet. This is a decrease, so, okay. So you look for your next V. Okay, 
you yarn over, go through the base stitch, you have three loops, yarn over, go through all three. Okay? Okay, this is the last time I'm showing the stitch. And like I said, you look for the next V, which is right here. And this is where that hook's going. You yarn over, go through the base. Okay? You look for that next V, which is right here. And you see, you're going between the V. I mean, yeah, in between the V. That's where it's going. You yarn over, you pull through the base stitch, yarn over, go through all three. Okay? And that's how you do a waistcoat decrease stitch.